Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, let me just bring this up. As you can see, I've done considerable work on the mountain, once again. Although, you can see little spots uh, where there's a bit of gray. You see them? One singular blocks? Those were covered at one point. Goddamn Grieferman. I mean, Enderman. But, uh, yeah. I have to keep trying to fix that, but that doesn't work out very well. Zombie on my rubber trees. And I realized that I didn't tell you about my turtle situation. You'll notice how this guy's just a turtle. And he also doesn't have a pick. And he doesn't have a name. I forgot to tell this to you yesterday. When my game crashed and I had the turtle down, it erased his label, deleted the fuel that he had in him, removed the pick from him, and pretty much pissed me off. But in other news, I accidentally crafted this before showing you. I didn't use it yet, but it's just eight brick blocks circled. This is used for red power. Which... Where am I going to set up these? Well, this is just the alloy one that I'll only use for a little while, so I guess I'll throw him here. I've dug out the entire bottom layer and started... Or the, the top layer, I guess, technically. And started replacing the layer underneath with cobble. Got the igneous extruder set up here, and he's filling up this chest. Got the water by getting it out of here with pipes. But, yeah. And I got all my stuff moved over here. At least all the important things. I got my thermal expansion stuff. This is the medium stone, and this is the pistons. But, yeah, I was sitting here, and I was like... I need dirt for up top, and I plan to replace the entire floor in this place. Two birds with one stone. However, my gems have been slowly decreasing. And I found out that sulfur does work exactly like bone meal. You just can't bone meal rubber trees. Ah, damn zombies. Damn zombies. But, uh, there was a new mod added to the Direwolf 20 pack today. There's actually a couple of them. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was all in the Reliquary mod pack. I didn't have too much luck finding it. It was something about magic and a couple other things. However, I wonder if I can, if it actually is listed in this list. Here it is. Machine Muses Modular Power sh Suits. Now, one thing before I start clicking on things, because I don't know if these work at the moment. Uh, I was reading on the forums trying to figure out about it because I was trying to do things and it wasn't working. Someone found out that Greg Tech, the Greg Tech recipes were enabled for the power suits when the Direwolf 20 pack does not have Greg Tech. Yeah, bit of a problem there was preventing the crafting of them entirely. And... In a lack of... Uh, I didn't feel like waiting for the update, so I went into the config files. Everything is exactly the same as it was, except the Greg Deck recipes are off, and the industrial, crafts, industrial craft recipes are now on. They're more expensive than the other two options. Uh, one of them I can't even use, because I'm not using universal electricity. I'm using Feed the Beast. So, let's click on these and see if the recipes pop up now. Ah, they do. Good. So, the actual armor bits themselves aren't hard to make, but you need industrial craft energy to power them up, and you need to make a bunch of these different things depending on what you're putting in them. Uh, so, I may or may not be dealing with that at the moment, although I might make this one, but it's a bit spendy. As you can see, I've only got 19 rubber. But the things I wanted to do today was, first of all, I want to make some... I don't even know why I'm planning on getting too much into this, because I don't have the diamonds to make the diamond draw plate, to make all the things I want to make out of it. But I can at least get started on such things.
Oh, and if you haven't noticed, uh, here, let me just sleep the night away real quick so I can show you. If you look, you can see that I've started putting flowers and stuff on the side of the mountain. Uh, I do have some bone meal left. I had to leave some in case I needed food. Iron door. These are obsidian pressure plates. They're made like a normal pressure plate, but with obsidian blocks. And they only trigger for players. And just in case, I'm just going to... Whoops. I don't know if there's an easier way to click all those on, but I will show you this real quick. See, it's just two obsidian together. And then only players can trigger them. Woo, solar panel. I haven't used the jetpack, but you can see I started work on putting flowers and grass and stuff on there, and I plan to plant trees and stuff later on, but... And this is just a temporary walling. The other side's still blatantly open, but eh, it's not a huge deal. I do want to... Uh, I don't know how to explain this. You need diamonds quite a bit of them to get really started off around 11 to get started off in red power with a lot of the more advanced things because yeah so I guess I guess my kind of idea on that went down the drain a little bit I can however pick up all this sulfur goo I'm going to I think Maybe make some tesseracts. I'll be able to get my infinite power going, although I don't have quite the storage for the amount of power I would end up generating. But that's fine. Oh, no, I can't really get started on that because without a chunk loader, the whole situation is hopeless. So I need diamonds. And I don't want to bore you guys with uh, me going into a dungeon. Well, dungeon? Into a, uh, cave system. So, I do have a little bit. I at least have enough to make... Uh, what? Oh. What'd you learn to do math? You terrible person? Now I need nine copper. Chests are a little bit differently positioned from what they used to be for me back in the other house. So, it does leave me a bit confused. And the current storage of things is rather temporary at the moment. Okay, so I needed... Why do I even bother? Just go backwards. Because this can be upgraded into multiple things. Each one of these are a pain in the ass. So I need six redstone, three refined iron, where is my iron, one, two, three. Oh, there's more rubber in there. That's handy. Uh, crap, I just realized I'm gonna need the special tinker table. Well, how does one make a tinker table? Okay. Tinker table. This thing looks amazing. Ooh. Emerald electronic circuit machine block. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think I have an emerald, though. No. Crap. I'm pretty sure there is at least one emerald... Oh no, maybe I didn't find any emeralds, because I don't think I was in extreme hills. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. That could be a problem. Is there a way to make them? With an emerald block. That's that thing. The hell? Smelt it, powered furnace, pulverizer, scrap box, grinder, centrifuge. Well, crap. 
I need to find emeralds. One emerald. Ah, fuck. I need to go find an extreme hills biome. And if I'm going out exploring, I am stashing my stuff away. I am bringing some extra tools. Uh, you know what? I'll just bring that extra shovel just in case. And I'm going to make another sword because I'd like to be prepared. Tell you what, I'm going to get things in order. I'm going to go try and locate myself some... Uh... Extreme Hills, and then we will be back after I attempt to accomplish said tasks. Although I can't make any guarantees, I will be successful in such a task. So, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, we're back. I thought I was going to have to go a long way, but uh, if you look at the biome I have here, apparently just underneath of this mountain is Extreme Hills Edge. And if I'm right... Yeah, if you look, the mine shaft is directly underneath it. It's both Extreme Hills Edge and Extreme Hills, up to well, a pretty good distance. So I guess we'll go through here. I left the monazit there still. I guess we'll go through, see what all I left in here. See if I can't find some emerald. Wouldn't be this high up. Should probably have gotten that uranium, but uh, Geronimo. I made a full set of iron armor and got a bunch of corn cooked up and made some regular torches and stuff. Whoa! Okay, Mr. Full Leather Villager. As you can see, I haven't gotten everything down here. There's still plenty to get, but I hate getting things out of the side of ravines. Ooh. Why would I leave emeralds? I am a terrible person. Uh, oh. Won't be having none of that. And I don't want those. Go away. Apparently, I did not do a very good job of clearing everything out of here. Hoop. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's still unexplored space in here. I'm going to try not to spend too much time in here. Go away. Basically, my goal is to get down here, find one emerald, which, honestly, I don't know what level emeralds spawn at, so that might take longer than I intend. Ooh, gold. Hey! Hmm. Yeah, this is going to end up taking longer than I intended, I think. Could have swore I've seen emeralds down here before, though. Ooh, darkness. Oh, we got the layer 16 real quick, didn't we? Hmm. Maybe I should find the emeralds and then uh, cut back to you guys after I've gotten an emerald. Because this is going to be a, a bit of a tedious process. I should have brought some building blocks. Oh, I did. Move. Let me throw. So. Ow. Prick. Go away. Why did I leave that emerald just floating there? Not emerald. Uh, ruby just floating there. Dude. Seriously. Leave me alone. Uh, hmm, hmm, I know emeralds are supposed to be rare, but come on, you think I would have picked one up, in fact, didn't I see one at one point during one of the, the videos, hey, there's silver, I need copper and copper. Yeah, I need quite a bit of copper, more than anything. And copper is actually from the higher levels in the world. 
Oh, there goes a stairwell piece. Hmm. Ah! Okay, one emerald. Oh. Can't build with rotten flesh. Just in case you didn't know. Now, there's only one problem with my entire strategy for leaving this place, and it's that I don't know how well of an exit I created for myself. Because you can see I've pillared up once already. Crap. Hmm. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to come back down here, so I'd rather have, you know, an actual way out for the next time. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll dig my way out now. Oh. Now I just have to remember like, how I got in here in the first place. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, so I guess it didn't take me that long. I didn't realize that was actually Extreme Hills slash Extreme Hills Edge because, let's face it, that does not look like an extreme hill to me. That looks like a slight hill. And that is a rolling mountain. It doesn't look very mountainous from here, does it? Maybe somewhere along the line I'll have to go back along the top and like create like a big pointy bit to it or something. Actually, I think that's because for some odd reason some of it hasn't loaded. I've been having issues with that lately, and oddly enough, right whenever I install Optifine, load. Right whenever I install Optifine, the game decides, hey, I'm gonna update. I'm not sure if Optifine works with the version of Forge in this. Uh, it says the Whoa. The version it says it's compatible with is uh, Forge version 518, and this one's using 524. So, I don't know what it is, but I always have this issue with my worlds where the moment I start building things, especially red power stuff, just the chunk loading goes to hell. Although I didn't have any of these issues once I installed Optifine, so who knows? So, I did, however, make the things. That's not how that was. The, uh, the electronic circuits and the machine block and stuff while I was away. So, there is one power tool. There's a machine block, an electronic circuit, and an emerald. Why did that go dark there for a second? Weird. Where do I want to put this? I will put it... There. Why not? Look at that. Is that not just the coolest looking thing ever? Now, unfortunately you need to make things like these and whatnot and all that jazz. It's going to take a little bit of work. And I'm definitely going to put a shovel in it right away. It just takes some iron and some solenoids, apparently. And you can use it as a weapon, too, which you can actually make it hit really, really hard. But I'm talking, like, one-shotting most mobs. But I'm not sure whether or not that's necessary for me at the moment. I need to figure out how to make solenoids and LV capacitors. Solenoid is wiring around a machine block which is redstone and gold cable you get two of those per so I need four of those okay and an LV capacitor is hello um hello Uh, that could be a problem. Well, crap. I'm going to have to look that up real quick, I think. Unless, 
do all of the capacitors not work? Because this is the MV. What if I try to look up the MV capacitor? Well, that works just fine. Albeit, that's extremely spendy. You know what? Screw it. Let's make it. So, I need... 11 redstone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Oop. I screwed that up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Rargh! Uh, we'll just put that guy back there. As for gold cable, I think you get 4 per craft. Roughly. 4. 3. 12. Holy crap. That is more than I need. Well, that saves me on gold at least. Okay, so one, one, two, one, two, no, no, one, one, four. Okay, so there's six of that. I need a machine block. I probably should have looked into it and made these things beforehand, but, uh, yeah. I wonder why the LV capacitor doesn't want to tell me what it is. I don't know, let's try it again just for good measure. Yeah, for some reason it won't tell me how to make that. Which is annoying. But... Meh. Guess I'll spend a diamond. Can always turn gold into diamonds later if it becomes a huge problem. But, uh, make an energy crystal while this is going. Cool deal. Um, we need a machine block, and around that I put. Okay, did it? Wait, how many solenoids did I need? I think it was one solenoid, an MV capacitor, and I need three iron. One, two, three. It's still doing really well on iron. Okay, so. Let's make a shovel, because I'm going to need to use it anyhow. And if I salvage it, does that mean I get these back? But right now, the shovel harvest speed is 8 times, and it consumes 100 joules per block eaten. However, this currently has energy storage of 0 joules. We're going to put it in an MV capacitor, which stores 100,000 joules, so that's... What, a thousand uses? Derp. Yes. So, and I know the rate at which you get power from the battery box. Uh, basically EU, because when I was tinkering with the config so I could actually use the thing. This, I don't consider this to be too necessary at the moment. But, it'll do. Uh, and you can actually increase the size of the battery. Look at this. And weight isn't really an issue right now, and you can easily change this up and down later, but 1,000 uses at a shovel speed of 8x, or I can increase its speed less than 10 times, but increase its power by 10 times. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it at 8 times, we'll see what that's like for speed. And oh, this thing looks really cool. Check this out. I'm just gonna put it in my shovel slot. Yeah, it looks like a hand. And, oh, let me just close this. As you can see in the top left, it fully charges itself when you first craft. And the rate at which it breaks stuff is quite good, and it tells you how much power you have. And I believe the power in this mod is shared between all pieces. If that makes sense. One, two, three, four. I kind of want to add the pickaxe. You know what? I'll just add the axe attachment to it while I'm at it. I believe every single one of these requires a solenoid and thingy. Should have enough of that. Need to do that four times. Need to spend, make more gold cable. God damn. Uh, yeah. I might actually increase the amount of power it can hold. Just, just because it seems like a 
good idea. Okay, so there's eight of you. That's going to take a little bit of time. Now, let's dig up some land while we wait. And I could increase this. I could dig it faster. I could... You know what a super shovel looks like when you dig? How it's just kind of like... Brrr. This can actually... You can uh, set it to do that. Oops. So... It, this is exactly the same. Actually, if anything, it, it might uh, even be a little bit faster than what I've been using as tools. But we drained the power down, so let's just get to this next block. So, as you can see, we're at 95.1 kilojoules. So, we can take this. This jetpack's been filled for a while, but I haven't been using it. Now, we have 40,000 EU. It's currently night, which means I'm not generating any power, so we'll get to see exactly how much we drain in order to fill up the 4.1 kilojoules. Look at that. That's just cheating. I was actually considering doubling the cost, but later on you start operating in areas of millions of joules, and it might come back later on, or I might tweak it to balance it closer to the quantum suit in terms of power usage. But for now, I'm going to grab these little guys. Dun 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 Ah, heck with it. I might as well just do it like this now. And we take these, put them there. Solenoids! I really, really like how this bench looks. Like, this is the most amazing thing added to Minecraft. So. And the thing is, we can actually increase the power on this. So, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? We'll install that, and install that. I don't really care to bump this up at the moment. So, I think these... What the hell? Why is the consumption and speed listed in different positions? I'm so confused. And I could actually turn it into a sword, but I need to figure out how to make the LV capacitor. And this looks really expensive, so we're just going to stay away from that. Because that is two Lapatron crystals just right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stay away from that. So, that should be good to go as all the things. However, it didn't fill up in power automatically this time. So we have 39,903. Let's see if that gets us all 400 kilovolts. Kilojoules? Kilojoules. It filled up instantly and it used... Did it really only use 8,000? Are you kidding me? Wow. That's kind of overpowered. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if you can put fortune on it. Ooh. Yeah, so it's it's actually quite quick. It's probably about as fast as a diamond pick, shovel, and axe right now. And I th and the uh, the melee mod. Once if I could figure out how to make the LV capacitor, for some reason it doesn't want to let me know. But uh, yeah, it it's a bit overpowered. I'm not gonna lie. But, so is the Gravitron stuff. And, it might not be as expensive as the Gravit, Gravit Suite and Quantum stuff, but, well, it's probably more overpowered, but I'll probably change the energy values in the configuration later to make things line up a bit better, because, yeah. It is a bit ridiculous at the moment. 
Whether or not I will keep using it, I'm not sure. I do know that it should easily be able to maintain being powered off of one solar panel. At least the tool. Which seems a bit cheaty to me, to be honest. But I do like how it fills up instantly. So that's always nice. But uh, I think th this is a bit short. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to make the blue electric furnace, although it's not going to be able to do anything for me at the moment. No, not the blue electric furnace. It's, it's technically the blue electric alloy furnace that I'll be making. Because I don't need a, an actual, like, uh, red power furnace. Whoops. Because I have... You know what? Let's just do this. I want to get my coal's worth. So we play the, take this blue alloy ingot and we put it in here. Five bricks, two iron, and we get a blue electric alloy furnace. This will do nothing for us till we start generating blue electric power, which we can't do without solar panels. So here's the problem with the these are the blue power, blue power, uh, red power, blue electric solar panels. It might not look that bad. So you click this, and you're just like, oh, okay, sil silicone wafer and nickelite alloy furnace. Okay, what's the big deal? In order to make silicone wafers, you need a diamond handsaw. Need. You have no other choice. And you think that's bad? Say I want to make a frame motor, which is right here. You need a blue electric motor. You know, so far it doesn't look that expensive, right? You get to the copper coils, and it's like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. But what's it take to make fine copper wire? A diamond draw plate and a copper ingot. You only get one wire per ingot. Okay, diamond draw plate, what's that take? It takes one-eighth. I believe that's an eighth of a diamond block, but you have to have a diamond block, and once you cut it up, you really can't do anything with the rest of that block other than make draw plates. Plus, you need pieces of an iron block. Look at this. Isn't this just ridiculous? Yeah, so... It is a bit of an issue, but I guess cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Anyhow, I think, I don't know if this is shorter or not or whatever, and I don't have a way to power this guy, so I guess I'm just gonna just throw him over here with the other random machines. He can sit there for now. I'm probably going to burn through the rest of these tools instead of just having them sit around. I should use this guy up too. Huh? How fast does he break dirt? Okay. Versus... It's actually a little bit faster. You can tell. But... I mean, I got this off of a zombie, and it's almost broken. But I do plan to... I will have the dirt on the top of this finished. But look at that. Look, Endermen are just wrecking my mountain. And I'm not quite sure what to do about it. Because I don't want to resort to some means such as, you know... Basically disabling mob griefing. Because that's going a little bit too far, and a little bit cheating. So... I don't know, maybe it'll just add character to the mountain, but then I might have to go through and... Eventually, I'm going to lose my entire mountain to Enderman, so I'm not even sure what to do. But, I do know they'll pick up flowers and stuff before blocks, so maybe once I get it all bone-mealed over with plants, it'll be a long time before they start jacking my mountain. I hope. Bit of a false hope, I know. But, uh, it's better than no hope, I suppose. And... Still don't have the rolling machine hooked up, because I don't really care. 
But, uh, I think that's good enough for now. I'm probably going to work on getting more stuff off of this, although those tools are a bit cheaty. They don't take a whole lot to power. But I'm going to go through all of these shovels and stuff. I am going to go through... I've had the igneous extruder running, so I've got cobble for days. I'm just going to fill that back up first. So, I'm going to put the layer of cobble in here. And I was trying to think, whatever I build the walls out of, it has to be something easily available, or easily obtainable, and it has to be either a red power or vanilla block. And it could be stone. I was kind of thinking stone would actually work really well. I could do it out of stone bricks. I could do it out of, like, nether bricks. This is slab. Screw the slabs. What? That's weird. But, uh, yeah, so feel free to give me some suggestions on what blocks you think I should use, because I could even use soul sand. I could care less. But I, I think I want it to either be a neutral or darker tone, because I want the overall feel of the inside of this place to be really, like, dark. I want it to feel like a cave. So much that my lighting might be done with these. Like the black lamps and black fixtures and whatnot. So, nor the black decay. That's from Mistcraft. Which, whenever I have an adequate source of leather, we can venture into. But, black lumars could be a bit of an issue to get a hold of. Is there a better way to get ink sacks? Orange dye. So, there kind of is. Because that's red and yellow flowers, and... Yeah, anyhow, I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to work on the mountain some more. I'm probably going to try to get together the rest of the pieces of that armor suit. Actually... I don't know how long I've gone on here. I might be going on, but I really want to make... what What is the simplest piece of that set? I would assume probably the boots or the helmet. It's the boots. I want to show you guys something really, really cool about them. I don't have the stuff to really properly uh, set them up, if that makes sense. But I need... I don't need this wood on me anymore because I'm not going anywhere. I do need a new tree tap because they break so quickly. I should just make an electronic tree tap, but uh, this is my sort of terrible version of a rubber farm for the immediate moment. Woo! If I build a thermal expansion sawmill, I can even go get, like, the uh, the red power rubber trees that you find in jungles that are gigantic and have, like, a million billion wood. And you have a 33% chance when running it through the sawmill to not... You, you get uh, six jungle wood planks and a 33% chance to get a rubber. And I know you can use an extractor and you have a 100% chance to get rubber out of it, but then you don't get any wood. So the question is, do I want wood? Or rubber. And to be honest, those trees are massive. And they look cool. 26, that should be more than enough. I need... Actually, I only need 6 at the moment, don't I? No, I need 12. No, oh, hi gold. I suppose it'll make up for some of the wire I used. Oh no, I just realized... I need four refined iron. And four redstone. You know what? I'm going to put this here. But I want to see whether or not I can use these to double my output. I think that's a Greg Tech recipe, so I'm going to doubt it. And... 
Oh. I need the refined iron to do such progress. Okay. So. God dang it. Always missing things. One, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Multitasking, sort of. Can I use those things to do these things? No, I cannot. So, that is probably a Greg Tech only recipe. But, I'm quite fine with that. Okay, power armor feet. Now, I don't have any of the component PC bits for this at the moment, but I want to show you some things. First of all, you can have the other things here, and these will increase weight and stuff as you apply them. I don't even know how you make the platings. I'm not going to worry about these just at this very moment, but as you can see, each one is a thing, and you see how this is 10 kilograms? Well, once you exceed 25 kilograms, which, if my math is right, is somewhere in the area of like, what, 60 to 70 pounds, roughly, uh, your character will start to move slower. So you want to try and balance all these things together in a way where that doesn't happen. Which, and this shock absorber is ridiculous. You can get 100% and it doesn't consume a whole lot. It's like a hundred, it's like either a 10 or a hundred joules or whatever per drop, but you can give your armors custom colors or make them transparent. Now, oddly enough, you can't give them black. As odd as that is. But you can try and give them white, despite the fact that they look, well, rather white to begin with. Check this out. They actually match my iron armor quite well. But apparently, you can use this thing, make new keybinds, and then you can drag, like, modules and stuff onto it. So if I bring this dude out... Yeah. Oh, right, because I don't have any, like, really activated modules. Look at that thing. Does that thing not look awesome? It looks awesome, I say. But anyhow... I'm probably going to try and make that entire suit of armor for the next one, although I'm probably not going to do anything to it. I'm going to get some materials ready and then modify it with you guys here. In the meantime, I'm going to throw this guy somewhere safe, such as here. Salvage these things from here. I'm just going to store the stuff in here at the moment. And uh, I'm going to call this good for now try and get things ready. Maybe I'll make another solar panel, but I doubt it for next time. So, for now... I... Wow, I forgot my own outro. Anyhow, I'm gonna call this good for now. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.